Hey guys, what is up? I hope everybody is doing wonderful today. And it's Twins 22, and sorry we haven't posted in a long time, but we've been extremely busy at work and have had zero time to do videos. But here's a short one, you know, um, top five scary things people have seen. So just get ready for it. My old co-worker had a son named Hunter that was four or five. She said that Hunter would have bad dreams and that he would sleep with his dad when he got scared. One night, his dad woke up because he heard Hunter calling him. But he was calling him by his name, not dad. So he went to his room and he was asleep. He woke him up and said, Hunter, were you calling me? Is everything okay? And Hunter said, Dad, when they call you, you're not supposed to answer, and fell back asleep. He asked him about it in the morning, but he said he didn't remember saying it. I get chills when I think about it. There is a thread somewhere that describes a guy taking a scenic route in the middle of the night to get to a certain town. He was driving up a hill and came upon a car accident with two cars on the side of the road and a person lying down on the ground. For some reason, he caught a bad vibe from it and slowly drove past the scene. He stopped about a hundred feet past it, looked behind him and the person on the ground was standing up and staring at him with about 20 people coming out of the wood. Boyfriend lived in a house that made no sense. There was a light switch on a baseboard that worked a light two rooms away, for instance. He decided to see if there was room in the attic space for some boxes. So boyfriend opens the hatch thing, pulls down the ladder, and goes up. Pulls the chain for the light to come on. The bare bulb is over a dusty room, empty, exempt for a rusty metal children's high chair. Boyfriend clicked the light back off, came back down the ladder and said, No, we're never going up there. Woke up one night around 1 a.m. Heard the shower was on. I first thought it was my brother. He works night shifts so thought he had come home late and was in the shower. It went on for about half an hour until I got up and went to see what the hell he was doing. No one was in the shower. My brother wasn't home yet. I was the only one in the house. Still to this day, I have no idea how it turned on or who did it. Almost five years later, I still think about it. Even writing this now, I feel like turning every light on in the house. Ah, why do I do this to myself? My parents bought their first house back in 1972. It was a fixer upper but they decided to move in right away and fix things as time money permitted. Within a few days of moving in, the new neighbors came over to introduce themselves. They also let my parents know that the previous owners had moved out after a nasty divorce. They had also lost their second baby from SIDS, and their relationship went downhill from there. My parents were horrified, more so because they were newly pregnant and couldn't imagine going through such a thing. They eventually pretty much forgot about it all. Life went on, they were in love with their new life and their new house. In preparation for the baby, they decided to wallpaper the nursery. Now, my dad told my mom there was no need in wallpapering the inside of the closet but she insisted. 
She was kneeling down, scraping off old paint inside of the closet when her eyes fell upon something that made her blood turn to ice. Written in crayon at about eye level for a kindergarten in childish scrawl was I killed the baby. <laughs>